I suggest we take a short leap into the near future and try to discuss the interest of using the chromogenic media for the identification by mass spectroscopy. So if you have a, a, a pure growth of a single colony type, it's easy to transfer one colony to one of these small spots. So the, the, the plate is about that big. You have, uh, you have plenty of spots. And you put it in the machine. There's a drawer here. You close the drawer. The vacuum takes five minutes to, to get in. And then the laser shoots at least 50 times and gives you a lot of spectra. They're compared. And in two minutes, you have the identification. So it's quite convenient with pure culture. On the blood culture with Staphylococcus aureus, no problem. But as soon as you work on polymicrobial uh, samples, things are getting more complicated. I, I'm taking the, the same example as you saw before. It is this bone infection with four different Staphylococci. Here, even if you are a specialist in Staphylococcus colony morphology, you say you have probably two, maybe three different types. If you ask a technician to pick the colonies, there's, there, are, there are two, uh, there, there, are, there is a possibility that first they, do, they miss the, the interesting colony, and the other possibility is that they mix two colonies and provide a, a wrong spectrum. If you use a chromogenic media, medium, it's so easy. 